A while ago, I picked up an IKEA Ross dresser on Facebook Marketplace. The dresser was a little beat up with chewed up door handles, scratched surfaces, and the middle drawer didn't close. So I decided to fix it up and completely change the look. For the design, I removed the top drawer and the bottom wood piece to make it look less bulky. I added a shelf above the second drawer and one below the third drawer to give it a more complete look. I cut off the existing legs and attached new legs to give it a more modern look and I gave the remaining drawers a fluted design. For the fluted design, I used wooden square dowels. Instead of dowels, you can also use pole wrap. If you're more interested in that, then check out my video on how I attach pole wrap to the IKEA mom dresser. For the back, there is an existing fiber board behind the first and second drawer. As I didn't want anything behind the first drawer, I removed this and reattached this so now sit behind the second and third drawer. Lastly, I painted the dresser grey and added gold handles. First thing was to fix the middle drawer. Upon closer inspection, I noticed that it was going to be an easy fix because the reason why it couldn't close was because some socks had fallen behind the drawer. Once removed, I confirmed the drawer could close nicely. To reconfigure the dresser, first I removed the first drawer and disassembled it, and then I removed the base piece. I then used the front piece of wood from the first drawer and combined it with the base piece to make the top shelf. To join them together, I used a Craig pocket hole jig, setting it at half inch and drilling holes along the edges of the pieces of wood. I then applied wood glue along the edge, used 3 quarter inch screws to screw them together and used a clamp to hold the wood pieces tightly together while the glue dried. You'll notice that the base piece is a little bit longer than the drawer piece, so trim the base piece flush. For the bottom shelf, I used the same wood joining technique and joined a solid piece of wood with plywood, making sure it was the same dimension as the top shelf. Instead of joining two pieces of wood, you can use one large piece of solid wood, but this may be more expensive, or use one large sheet of plywood. If using plywood, you'll need to edge band the side to make it look prettier. Next, I drilled pocket holes along the three edges of both shelves that's not front facing and used pocket screws to attach these two pieces of wood to the dresser. Make sure to leave a slight gap between the wood pieces and the drawers to ensure the drawers are able to open and close well. For the drawers, I purchased square wooden dowels and cut 19 of them to the same length of the drawers, which is 7 and 5 16 inches. Then using wood glue, clamps and a 90 degree ruler, I stuck each piece of dowel to the drawer, spacing them 1 and 7 8 inches apart. Remember to map it out and double check all the spacing before gluing it on. Before painting, use a primer. This is important because the tannins in the wood will stain and yellow the paint over time and the primer does a great job in preventing this from happening. It also helps ensure the paint adheres better. Once the primer has dried, paint the dresser into your desired colour. I'm using a custom paint colour from Sherwin-Williams. For the edges, I used an edge brush and a small art brush. For the larger surfaces, I used a dense foam roller. At the back of the dresser, you'll see a thin piece of fiberboard. Remove this by using a hammer from the inside of the dresser and hammering it out. This will cause the nails holding the fiberboard in place to be gradually pushed out. Once you see this happening, remove the nails and the fiberboard should fall off easily. Hammer gently to not cause damage. Next, reattach the fiberboard and attach it lower so it now sits behind the second and third drawer. You can either use the original nails to hammer it back in or use a nail gun. At this point, you can see if you like the original legs. If you do, you can keep it as is. If you don't, you can cut off the existing legs by first drawing a line under the bottom shelf, then unscrew the bottom shelf and cut off the existing legs along the line you drew. Once this is done, screw the bottom shelf back and it should now sit flush with the sides. 
to attach the legs, I measured and marked where I wanted the legs. Next, I drilled a hole half inch in diameter and about one inch deep into the base structure, and then screwed in the metal plate and screwed in the wooden legs. Lastly, measure and attach your door handles to the middle of the drawers. Here is the completed dresser. It is no longer bulky, but is elegant and modern and looks completely different to the original. I love it! If you enjoyed this IKEA flip, please give the video a like. Also, let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. In the upcoming episodes, I'm going to be flipping the IKEA Tava nightstand as well as the dresser, so stay tuned. Until then, see you next time!